And Rumah Tangsi is a uh, consists of I think about 1.1 plus acres uh, of the building, the main building plus actually uh, Tangsi 10 and Tangsi 11 beside and then they have a 30 park, parking space. Uh, the size is about 50,000 square feet with a lot of uh, spaces. And then this is how it looks like from uh, uh, exo exonometric. You we have where as you enter, you have the main room, four year space, and then also the meeting rooms and everything. So it's quite straightforward. The space is a house. Uh, so when you build, it's it's about activating a house. Uh, other countries they have house activated becomes a hotel, Airbnb, but this one is uh, right smack in the middle of KL. So the 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 way we look at it is quite different because there's uh there are. Uh, office and commercial activities happening and there's interest in commercialization. So some of the parameters that we did when we take over uh, the government building is the priority is number one is always take care of the uh, local government image. That's the first priority. And the other number two to number seven is looking into appropriate SOPs, designing, uh, must do a lot of uh, engagement with conservator, ensure building is maintained, control end user activities, control maintenance and repair, and lies KLTB with the the other stakeholders that is our neighbors yeah and some of the activities that we are done uh, we're doing now seminar workshop market exhibition culture photography concert culture visit meeting i think throughout the uh I, when we took over in 2019 i think we've done all of this within a short period of time uh despite the pandemic yeah? uh is in comparison to other event space in kl uh yeah the next speaker is shen yeah so he's uh, our outreach within one year is uh, quite. Uh, it's okay. About two thousand, about three thousand outreach in uh, Instagram and about three thousand in uh, Facebook. So we don't really do a lot of marketing and branding, but uh, for for outreach, but we do a lot more programs uh, strategically partnering. But uh, we are glad that we are actually uh, number six in terms of outreach in the top uh, event space in KL now. Uh, and then. To share you a little bit, when you actually manage a event space, heritage event space, you need to really have a lot of policies and uh, you have to plan whatever, whatever, uh, a lot of things in the order to manage the in the buildings. So the first thing that we did was this is our company structure where I'm the creative director and Avizuddin is the uh, the director as well. Where we have we set up all the parties that actually assist to help us in the area of conservation and contractor uh, specific contractor conservator, uh, creative social media, uh, and so ah and Najib, your name is here so tourism, <laughs> and then arts and culture, food curation, and also events uh, safety. Yeah. Some of the things we've done for the space is emergency response plan. This is very important because we are dealing with public. So we need to actually think about how to uh, create a very fast evacuation for if there's emergency. And then also uh, rules and parameter compliance with the guidelines, JWNs, CMP, uh, Conservators Management Plan, Heritage Act, and then guidelines. Uh, so also the operations and activity response. Uh, so there, there's a lot of to think about when doing maintenance for heritage building. Sorry, I'm going a little bit faster because I want to share quite a lot of things. Uh, and then uh, if you look at the maintenance of a heritage building, you can actually categorize this as relation to section 40 and section 42 uh, and 46 of under the Heritage Act. Uh, we're looking into heritage site, application of planning permission for heritage site for uh, making the building. And our role is to duty to keep heritage site on behalf of Ikatan and DBK Allah and also comply with the conservation management plan. And we also always look into offenses because in the offenses we can see all the potential uh, contravention that we can do so that we can avoid it. Uh, so you can find all this uh, inside the act and then uh, with the, the penalty is five, five years penal 50, 50k yeah, if you don't comply. Yeah. So we uh, every year we actually go back to our activities and look back and put back to the guideline of JWN looking into the use and situation and whatever halangan and context so we always put this as to, uh, to audit our the, the, our activities, and in terms of alteration, uh, we have actually created a mechanism. Currently, I'm uh, helping Indivical in doing the maintenance agreement. So we have actually broke into activities of minor and major, where if in terms of decoration, furnishing, maintenance, repair, retrofits, temporary installation, it's not so much critical. So it requires a little bit of uh, advice from the conservator, but. When it talks about minor alteration, major alteration, it's a start to look into uh, meaning to say uh, you have to actually involve a lot of 
things where building owners will have to come, local government, JWN, appoint competent conservator. And then other things that we have to set up is the uh, uh, rumah, uh, the house rules. This is very important because we are giving uh, the public to use. So basically, this is in line with the JW, JWN guidelines. So you just open the guidelines, then you can see. And then this is the website for the guidelines. You can download this at uh, heritage.gov.my, JWN. And then uh, CMP, yeah, for people that is dealing with heritage, you have to know about CMP, Conservation Management Plan. There are a lot of things. The conservator will have to uh, prepare this. And then uh, process flow, dealing with the public, yeah. Some other things, event safety, risk, things that uh, you need to actually assess COVID-19 guidelines, uh, you know, all these guidelines and then challenges. Uh, you have to also constantly uh, identify the challenges in managing. Uh, meaning one of the things is building uh, the maintenance, building maintenance, pandemic, and end user, and then also public liaising, yeah. And then also five you minutes, have... Three minutes, yeah? Five minutes, oh wow, five, I still have a lot, minutes, man. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, maintenance and repair works by citizens, so these are things that we monitor. And then uh, looking into a lot of things like promotional works, uh, heritage event space, we look to do a lot of things in terms of uh, promoting website, Facebook, uh, Instagram and then uh, also we uh, don't forget about celebration wishes we are featured in a lot of magazines and then also uh, in a, a move recently and then in terms of tourism curation it's a lot of work also looking into do, doing the tourist decks to plan and then the virtual reality with uh, some of the architects and then uh, buying the pictures uh, uh, handling the tours uh, this is a uh, the granddaughter of Lok Chao Kid, uh, we she managed to visit us last year, and then dealing with Datuk Bang uh, ni and Menteri also visit. So uh, this is we're working with some universities doing this. Uh, we can't wait for it to be uh, put and then the merchandise. Uh, so and then working with Jane Rai and uh, obviously Najib, and then uh, some of the events we completed. These are the collaborators that we have collaborated over the one two years. Uh, events, a lot of events, 50, 50 events we have uh, cancelled. Uh, some of the events, yeah, this is uh, with the exhibitions and then with uh, fashion. Yesterday I had a very nice fashion design uh, with DJ, uh, KL Fashion Week as well. Celebrities that have came, uh, video clips that happened, yoga, urban farming with KL Dulu. And then uh, this one was announcing with HKP. Yeah, we actually protect everything and then bring the moto. Yeah, quite interesting. There was this was what Levi uh, during the pandemic uh, online wedding program. And uh, this is a wedding as well. Uh, we just first timed it, uh, so it's quite interesting. Uh, so you can see the setup. So we work with the wedding planners. And then this is upcoming uh, dancing program that is done by my partner. Uh, so we are going to do it in another one or two weeks. And then our future plans upcoming, uh, we are collaborating with Impact Hub, which is an international company doing SDGs. Uh, and then uh, we are planning for Food Hub. If uh, you are free, you can come tomorrow at 8 to 3. We are having a, a event, uh, food, uh, food program. This is some uh, that we, we are planning in terms of uh, imagining Rumah Tangsi for uh, Food Hub. Due to pandemic, we are re re strategizing the place. Uh, this is the event tomorrow, Dan Dan and Chem Chem. Chem, Chem. Uh, we partner with... Uh, with uh, Timothy, who is a grantee of Think City, so it's quite easy. They understand the uh, significance of of uh, of uh, heritage buildings, and then this is future plans possible if we were to extend our lease. In conclusion, uh, uh, generally in summary, in uh, five uh, the last one year we have done fifty five events, thirty thousand visitors, and then about seventy five collaborations, and we cancel about not thirty five, about forty fifty events already. So basically, in terms of the outreach, is quite a lot. Do, we, do I still have time, uh, Najib, for one video? About two minutes? One more minute, actually. One more minute. Uh, yes. Okay. So maybe I put half of this, little bit of this. This okay. is uh, the award winner, uh, the third winner for the MIP urban, uh, video. So I want, I thought I could share. All right, guys. Kita dah sampai ke rumah Agam Chowkit. Okay. Sebenarnya tadi kita daripada LRT tadi kita jalan, kita datang sini kan lebih kurang dalam 5 minit jalan dan jalan kaki. Okay. Actually rumah Agam ni, dia terletak betul-betul di tengah Kuala Lumpur ni. Kalau kita tengok kan, kalau boleh tengok dekat sana, sebelah sebelah kanan saya ni adalah dataran Merdeka. Dan sebelah kiri saya ni adalah pusat turism Kuala Lumpur. Dan juga bersebelahan dengan Bank Rakyat. Okay, rumah Agam ni telah dibina oleh 
saudagar ahli perniagaan daripada China iaitu Lok Chow Kit. Okey, pada tahun 1905. Kemudiannya pada tahun 1908, bangunan ini telah diambil alih oleh Empire Hotel sehingga 1942. Kemudian pada tahun 1973, Persatuan Arkitek Malaysia telah mengambil bangunan ini sebagai ibu pejabat diorang sehingga tahun 2012. Dan kemudiannya, bangunan ini telah diiktiraf sebagai bangunan warisan kebangsaan pada tahun 2012 oleh Jabatan Warisan Negara. Okey, jom kita masuk dalam. Tengok apa di dalam. Okey, sebelum tu difahamkan juga pada tahun 2012, JBKL telah mengambil inisiatif untuk mengembalikan, memulihara semula bangunan ini dengan mengekalkan ciri-ciri sini bina utama di bangunan ini. Dan kini, rumah berkeluasan 5,000 kaki persegi ini juga telah dikenali sebagai rumah tangsi dan telah menjadi sebagai pusat aktiviti dan juga event hub yang dikenalikan oleh citizen di bawah dua orang anak muda iaitu Bro Hafiz dan juga Bro Reda. Okey, mari kita tengok kawasan lain pula. Okey, actually kat sini boleh buat macam-macam. Contohnya mesyuarat, seminar, pameran dan juga aktiviti perkahwinan pun boleh. Kalau boleh tengok sekarang ni, diorang dah prepare untuk perkahwinan hari esoknya. Okey, sekarang kita Alright. Thank you ah. Okay. So anything Very you contact uh, Rumah Tangsi. Thank you. Yes, please. Okay, just nice. Thank you very much.